guys are watching Tranmere Rovers against Forest Green and Wembley in the National League playoff final. The emotions of a football match. Enjoy the video. Can we hit 400 likes? Madness. What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to another match day experience on the channel. It's been a while actually. When was the last game? I think the last game was Monday. So it's been about six days. Not that long, but it feels like a long time. Some of the paces I've been doing some games recently. But today is a really big, big day. I'm off to Wembley. We're off to the National League playoff final between Forest Green Rovers and Tranmere Rovers. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, whoever basically, whoever wins goes up to the Football League and that is massive. The difference between the National League and the Football League, as you guys probably all know, is huge. Um, I think Forest Green have sold around three, three and a half thousand tickets and Tranmere have sold around 12 or 13,000 I think. Possibly a bit more. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it's massive. Um, I know people will probably put in the comments below that sort of Forest Green or Tim Plot Club and all that kind of stuff and in some ways I agree. I don't like the way the club is run but um, I don't have anything against sort of opened my eyes at the last few months about the fans of Forest Green. Originally I probably had an opinion that a lot of other people had um, but now that's that's very much changed when I've actually thought about things and they come they come from a village with a population I think of 5,800 and they're taking three and a half thousand to Wembley so there's only going to be about 150 people left in the village or respect for them so yeah all I want from it for myself is a good game um, in terms of who I prefer to see in the Football League I think it would be Tranmere um, they've had a long, a lot of suffering down in non-league for the past sort of four or five years, um, and yeah, it'd be good to see them back. Um, but yeah, really excited. Go along with Ellis today. I don't actually know which end I'm in. Mean, I've got a ticket in both ends, and I'm just going to go for whichever end I can get into, which might not make sense, but it does make sense. Um, read into that what you will. But anyway, I'm off now. I will see you in a bit. Yeah, Two fifteen kick off. West Ham against Liverpool. So uh, we've got full commentary on. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Eat, sleep, do Luton, repeat. Yo! So as previously mentioned, here with Ellis today. How are you? I'm good, thanks you. Yeah, good. When was the last time you were on the channel? QPR, wasn't it? Oh, wasn't no. You forgot about QPR. <laughs> I genuinely forgot I went. I, I, not, not because it was shit threatening. Right like, I li literally just completely forgot that I'd, I'd been. Like, because my memory, preparation is awful. Like, today, Your preparation's pretty poor, I must admit. I'm not wearing any socks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, th I think it was QPR. Yeah. Because Sutton was before QPR, wasn't it? Yeah. I think so, anyway. But um, we're off to pick up our tickets now. And as I mentioned last week, I said I wasn't coming today because I wouldn't pay the 41 quid. And I've stuck to my word. So um, apologies if the National League Twitter pages or anything are watching this. And I know I'm not going to get any retweets, but I'm either going in the Forest Green end as an over 65, as they... Um, they accidentally released early bird tickets again last week by mistake, so I've got one of those. Or I'm going in with him in the Tramir end as an under 60. So, either way, I'm going in. I've got two chances to get in. Either 16 or I'm 65. You, can tell the, you can't tell the difference for either. There is something seriously special about Wembley, though. Yeah, I know. Well, Spurs are sort of you up? And we're in. Easy. Ellis. <laughs> Easy. We're in Wembley with a capacity of 90,000 and Ellis can't find a pie. I just want a pie. I genuinely just want a pie. They've got popcorn, they've got sweets, they've got ale, they've got donuts. They've got the grill sizzling hot food with vegetables. But they haven't got pies. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on a diet. Cool. 
cool, thank you. We're at the bottom. I love this place. You know, I can't even get it. I genuinely can't pick it up. How is it? I haven't even eaten it yet. Wait. Why well, can't they just do a normal steak pie? I don't like the ale part of it. That's alright. Actually, yeah, it's nice. How much was it? <laughs> 4 for that. And then the drink was three quid. That's literally the price of a, Web of a Webstream's been. £7.30 for a pie and a coke. I paid £11 more to get in to the watch the book. You get a pint and uh, no, you get a, a cider and a, a burger and chips. And you can order from your phone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Weather swings for the win. Mm. We're going to do the score prediction while it's early. So, my score prediction is I'm either set on 2 1 to Tranmere or a penalty shootout and Tranmere to win in penalties. Um, I got 3 0 right at Chelsea last week. What's your score prediction? I just want Tramway to win. I have a horrible feeling for a screen and a sneaker one no win. Really? Just you know when you get a gut feeling that means absolutely nothing? I don't know, for me, I was saying to him, Elias just now that at Wembley, I think the fans make a big difference. Other grounds, I don't think it's too much of a big deal. But when Forest Green had come out to see sort of three or four thousand fans, I think it will make a difference. But I asked for some score predictions on Twitter. There's too many to read all of them, but I'll read out as many as I can. Russell 2-1 to Tranmere. Alex, Forest Green on penalties. Dan Gilbert 2-0 Tranmere. Tony 3-1 Tranmere. Grant 3-2 Tranmere. Declan 4-0 Tranmere. Dean 3-0 Tranmere. Ian, Forest Green to win on penalties. 2-1 Tranmere. Nathan 6-1 to Tranmere. Grimsby Exiles. Bloody hell. 3-1 Tranmere by Brian. Uh, Oscar uh, Tranmere. Dan Bell 2-0 Tranmere. Neil, anyone but Forest Green. Peter, 2-1 Forest Green. Cameron, 3-2 Tranmere. Yeah, I can't read all of them, but it's pretty obvious that most people are thinking a Tranmere win.
probably missed it by a centimetre. Lucy Aegon, still 1-1. score it's all over if if Tram has scored the game's well back on but two wonder goals from Forest Green and one bit of bad defending but they've taken their chances Tram have had two sitters and they've missed them both um yeah don't know what to say really I say Forest Green has executed the game plan perfectly um yeah see what the second half brings but just looking at the warm-ups now Forest Green have got coaches out there and all the, all the players are warming up properly and the Tramio players are just kicking the ball around and doing flicks and tricks, just don't look interested. It's not a good sign, not a good sign at all. Second half about to get back underway. Massive, massive 45 minutes for Tramio Rovers and Forest Green Rovers. All they need to do is hold on, they'll be time wasted now. Just missed an open goal, literally an open goal.
Craig Brown for the presentation. Looking forward to visiting Forest Green the Football League next year. With Grimsby in play inflatables again. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm pleased with those fans that I've been spent a few weeks with the last couple of weeks. VIP. Don't know how I've managed this. So today, I got in as an under 16 in the Tranmere end. I've now walked through the players' lounges and I'm now in the Forest Green end. What kind of security do Wembley Stadium actually have? Do they have any? I don't think they do. Back here next week for normally finals day.